In this video, we're going to talk about the K287. This is a volume shifted snowboard, meaning it's shorter and wider. And it's a throwback. This is a board for slashing the mountain, but still has some freestyle aspects to it. It's a board that's for someone that's going to have a quiver or someone that just wants to slash, pop, have some fun, play all around the mountain. It's got a softer flex to it than, say, the Simple Pleasures. And it's a board that you can just ride all over in a free ride capacity. The 87 comes in with a flex pattern that's just below middle of the road. And I mean just below middle of the road. It is a directional flex, so you do have a slightly softer nose going into a stiffer tail with a lot of torsional flex between the feet. It's a board that is stable, but it's very lively. It's not damp you're going to notice chatter at high speeds in that tip, especially with the camber profile. It's just going to be flapping there. It's like, hello, how you doing? And you're going to be like, oh, fuck. But don't worry about that. It's not going to resonate back underfoot. When you get into rutted out terrain, this board will bend and flex with everything. So if you're very stiff-legged, you're probably going to get bucked around. But if you're one of those guys that knows how to absorb everything with your knees and ankles, you're going to be totally fine. Are you even alive in 87? I got my first snowboard then. The camber profile on this board is very easy to engage. You don't have to worry about it. You just load it up and activate that rocker and boom, you're popping, no problem. It's not the snappiest deck, but it's solid. It'll get you up on top of fresh snow and when you need to pop off something, it's there, you have that snap and rebound. With this board having rocker in the tip, it's super solid for locking into butters. You're gonna notice that you can get right up on it, press into it harder, and there's gonna be snap. This board is actually really easy to engage a pow butter with. I never had an issue. I could get right up on the nose, spin it right around and keep on going. Who is this board for? It's for the guy that wants to surf the mountain and have some snap. You're gonna notice right away that this board has some overlap with the simple pleasures. I mean, they're almost interchangeable in my opinion. This board is probably a little bit more playful, but other than that, they're very similar and it's the same type of rider. This is going to be for that person that wants to add a volume shifted board to their quiver. Someone that's going to be out there just surfing the mountain, getting after some fresh snow, taking it in the trees, just, you know, having fun, doing layback carves, things of that nature. It's a surfboard for the white wave. Let's take it back to 87 and find out what other boards stack up to this deck. The Hooger Boot, no, just kidding. Fucking with you guys. We're not looking at vintage boards here. The K2 Simple Pleasures. As I've already stated in another video, I feel like this board and the Simple Pleasures are the same thing. There's a lot of overlap in how they ride. The Yes 420. The Marhar Woodsman. The Rosinal Sushi. The Spring Break Slush Slasher. The High Tide Draft Dodger. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below. That way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.